Hey guys, get ready me to go get Wingstop. Literally every time I come to the US, the first thing I get is Wingstop. I haven't been able to get it the past couple days we were here because we've been getting like dinners with people and it's just been too busy. But today is my last day here, so I have to get Wingstop. Unpopular opinion, I personally hate in and out I just think it's so disgusting, like the fries. But it's different for me because I don't eat beef, so obviously I can't really eat their burgers. But them fries taste like they're a week old and they're so dry. I do, however, love Chick-fil-A. It's so good. Fun fact, really sad fact actually, we don't have any of these like fast food restaurants in Canada. We don't have Cane's either. Like we don't have so much. We don't have Target. We don't have Trader Joe's. Like my hair feels so crusty. It looks like I have dandruff because I was at a shoot yesterday from like 7 a.m. all the way until 5 p.m. And my hair got redone at least like 10 times. This moisturizer, you guys, is so good for traveling. It was so much fun though. I literally can't wait for you guys to see what I've been working on. Seriously, it's so exciting. New York City is literally so windy. It's the windiest place I've ever been to in my whole entire life. So last night we went to the club. And that's another thing. Why is clubbing in New York City so much more fun than clubbing anywhere else? Anyway, so as we were waiting in line, I literally thought I was going to get blown away. I've never ever shivered so much in my fucking life. And I usually don't get cold. I'm more afraid of the heat. But I was literally- oh. Okay. I literally died outside in line. Okay, what the fuck, you guys? I don't know how to close this. It, like, won't snap back. And I- it's- it's fine. Also, if you were a girl at the highlight room last night, and if you were dancing with some Asian girl, that was me. <laughs> and I know your friend took a video, so if you could please send it to me because I really want the video. I thought it was so cute. You were so pretty, by the way. The chance of her seeing this is like 3%, but... I'm so sad we're leaving today, guys. Feels like it's been such a short trip. Well, I mean, it was a short trip. We were literally here for like three days. But I'll be back in New York City in no time. I wasn't gonna wear that much makeup today because I'm going on the plane later, but here we are. I just can't stop myself. I'm most likely just going to be removing all my makeup when I get on the plane. I feel dead, tired, and hungry. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Get ready with me. I don't know why, but my turn looks like it's wonky. I don't know if it's the lid or if it's like the actual bottle, but it looks wonky. I think it's like the actual bottle. Like, I don't know if it's obvious on camera, but it's wonky. Anyways, we're gonna go to another fish store today to get some more fish because the sleeping cod got moved into like my little fish tank because um, he was eating everything. We're gonna go pick up Harper first though because she came back from her sleepover. Also, happy Friday. I thought it was Friday yesterday and I actually went to work an hour early but my boss said I could stay but it was so embarrassing. I'm gonna use this primer today because I haven't used it in so long. But I'm working with Gabby again today and also I haven't done my hair yet so it looks crazy. Mum just left to go pick up Harper from her friends, but I haven't used this Hello Glow in ages, so hopefully it's still my shade. It looks kind of dark, but I just added a little bit so I can like blend it out as like bronzy drops. I need new clothes, so I'm going to do a couple of online orders because I don't know, I just like have no outfits. Because I have a lot of tops, but then I just wear the same jeans with every single outfit, so I really need new like bottoms. And my sister's finally talking to me again. We had a fight and she wouldn't talk to me for like five days because like I accidentally pushed her off her vanity. She just kept blackmailing me and I was just sick of it. And then I just like pushed her and she like fell on her vanity and like everything fell. And then she just called me into her room last night. So now she's fine, I guess, but it was really funny. But that whole time she wasn't talking to me, she would not leave the house. Like she would just like stay in her bed all day because she said that I was trying to make her laugh. And then if she did laugh, then I would think that she liked me again. I don't really remember what she said, but something like that. Okay, I just lined my lips and now I'm gonna put on my lip balm. Okay, now I just need my setting spray. Now I need to get ready and do my hair. Ooh. Bye, guys. Hey guys, good morning, and let's get ready to go to school. I literally want to die drop dead. I'm so tired. I don't want to go. I've literally... I haven't gotten any sleep. I'm just so exhausted. Like, I didn't even do any work at school yesterday, if I'm going to be honest. I kind of just, like, sat there and laid down. Because I need to get used to, first of all, daylight savings. And I know we had, like, a while to get, like, used to it. But, like, I was on spring break. I wasn't going to get used to that. It really caught up with me though, so now I'm paying the consequences and literally trying to sleep in class. 
also guys i recently just started putting on spf and i think it's actually like better for your skin because my skin always feels more hydrated when i do my makeup and i also don't want to have a damaged skin barrier when i'm 30 years old i'm like sitting here trying to process what i'm going to do for my makeup like i don't even know what i want to do i'm going to try to look semi-decent today because i'm currently dressed like a bum but like i'm wearing lulu and brandy i just look like a bum and i feel like a bum i'm tired like i'm literally just tired with everything and everyone and i just want to like go back to sleep and then go to the mall Hopefully this concealer makes me look bright and awake even though I'm literally like feeling dead. Guys, it is so cold that my beauty blender feels like an ice roller. Like, why is Florida acting like this? Can the cold front just go away and the groundhog just make up his mind? Guys, thank you so much for saying that my skin's so clear. I worked really hard to get my skin like this. But basically, I'll show you guys a routine maybe in the future. Be consistent with your products and don't change up your routine every week. If you stay consistent with your products, like you will have like positive outcomes this blush combo is like undefeated guys go get the rare beauty blushes now i think they're actually really worth it i just powder my face and i'm just using this powder blush but like i'm actually dreading going to school so bad i'm just curling my lashes i literally don't feel like talking today i'm like so tired <laughs> sometimes i wish i was still a middle schooler because in middle school we were able to wake up at literally like 8 45 and still get to school on time with no problem like, it's so different in high school. Like, it's insane. I literally have to start setting my alarm from, like, 4 because if not, I'll oversleep. And that's, like, the most annoying thing is getting woken up by my mom at, like, 7 in the morning saying, get ready, you're going to school. Like, oh, my God. Okay, guys, this is my outfit. So, this is from Walmart. Um, the top's from Lulu. Pants are brandy. And I'm literally going to wear these because I'm so tired. That's the already with me. Bye, guys. Hey guys, get ready with me. So I'm feeling 10, 10. I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling a solid 8 out of 10. So it's nice and bougie. I'm a bit upset because I've just wasted my last week being off school. I mean, off college, sorry. In bed, sick and poorly and ill and ugh. So I'm so sad. And then you're probably thinking, oh no, day, it's fine. You've got these last few days. No, I freaking don't. I've got work. I've got work tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Fresh in the morning, a rise and shine for work. And then Sunday, same thing, work again, five hours. Not for me. Do you want to know what the rude thing is as well? They put me in for five hours because they don't want to put me in for six because if they put me in for six, then I have to have a half an hour break. So I basically be doing five and a half hours. So they just put me in for five hours so I don't get no break or nothing. So it's literally torture. And if I have a break, then I have to make up for it and do an extra half an hour. So it's just like, well, that's such a bad punishment. And what did I do? Like, that is not fair. That should not be allowed. Anyways, my mummy did my hair for me and um, I'm going to do my edges in a minute and then I'm going to go and see Jack. He finishes college at nine so he's already in. And then I'm going to rob his computer so I can do my work while he does his revision as well. So yeah, Jack's also got work tomorrow, eight till five. Eight till freaking five. That is so freaking long. And I bought a cookies and cream. Hold on. I brought cookies and cream bubble tea powder. So now I'm making bubble tea. Because I've got the tapioca pills and everything. So now I'm just need to make it. Because you tried to make it and it just tastes like pure milk. And if you know me, you know I hate milk. So I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Plus, well, guys, I got a package sent by Frilliance. So I'm going to use some of their products now. Because I've seen their lip gloss all over my Instagram and my For You page. And lucky enough for me, they sent it to me. So I'm going to try it out. Also, I've lost my freaking remote to my LED lights. So I'm not very happy about that either. So Frilliance obviously sent me their um, pimple patches. And I've also got their lip glosses and their spray. I'm going to leave the rest of it in here because I don't need that for now. This is literally the famous lip gloss that everyone has been going on about. Ah, it looks so pretty! I've also got the cherry glaze one, but I'm going to use the clear one today. But let's just open this one anyway, just to see. And look at how beautiful they are. But right now I'm going to use the Brilliant Illuminating Cream. So let's just open this up. Because I don't want any makeup on. I just want to be... Oh, what happened here? just want to be like clear babe do you know what i mean i just i just want the experience of squeezing it out sorry even though i have enough on my face <laughs> oh i'm flipping g look at it it's shiny and then it goes into your skin. oh my god this is supposed to give you a natural glow guys about like makeup highlighter or anything and it's literally doing just that 
OMG, OMG. I'm gonna do my edges because I'm feeling literally incomplete and it's just bugging me. Okay, I've done them now. Now I'm gonna try out this lip, lip gloss. So, mm, okay. OMG, it smells good. And feels good. Yo, you guys probably just thinking, oh, it's just some random lip gloss that you can get this from my pound. Da, 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 da. Nah, this is non sticky. That's just my spit, sorry. Tastes like cupcakes and vanilla -y. Ah! I love it. I'm in love with this. This is my new favorite lip gloss, guys. Anyways, I love you all. Mwah. Hey, guys. Get ready with me to go see a billboard with my face on it. <laughs> Tallulah's sleeping in the back. I didn't want to wake her up. Tallulah is actually a very sleepy person. And I didn't realise that we had that in common. So now I'm happy because I thought she woke up really early every day. But she don't. No. She don't. No. Um, but no, yeah, today we're going to go shopping for a bit in Oxford Street. And then I'm going to go to Leicester Square and see my face on a billboard. I just wet my face um, and I'm just putting a little bit of this on. We stayed at the Cumberland Hotel. How nice is it, Tallulah? So nice. It's so nice. That is my voice, by the way. You've lost your voice. Can you not tell? It's my voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's not hanging around with me too much. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go for quite a full face today because... We're getting pictures from every kind of angle, so I need to make sure I look nice. I'm just using this Glossier Tinted Moisturiser. It comes out really weird, but I'm also use this, which is the Maybelline Plump Plump Tint. I think it's really good. Okay, now I look a lot more tanned. I'm going to use the Lancome Concealer under my eyes. I never really put foundation on this bit because it actually is not good. Tallulah had to wear like the hardest heels ever last night and I kept looking over at her at this event and she just thought I was going to cry. <laughs> I'm going to use this. Tallulah influenced me on this one. It's the Dior concealer. Yeah. But I haven't used it once. Like Darth Vader. <laughs> I am your fuck. So me and Tallulah have spent the last three days together. Honestly, it's been so fun. I don't want to go home, but she's got to go home. She's going back to Newcastle today. And I'm going back to Essex later on. But I haven't been home in a while. Other than me and Tallulah literally like, had a sleepover around mine, got home really late and then went out super early in the morning again to London. So it was a really, really annoying time. I just wore my lips and I'm pretty sure I'm all ready. Okay, lip gloss is on. I use this one, it's the Ramil Seeker one. And it's just a really nice combo and I feel like I've done it now. I feel like I'm ready. I'm so excited, but it oh, doesn't feel real. I'm just so shocked. Like, what's going on? Okay, this is the fit check for today. I'm wearing these jeans from PLT and a nice green bodysuit. I think it's really cute. Oh, it didn't stop. <laughs> okay, I just recalled my hair and i'm gonna let that sit and then it'll just drop out eventually because we're in the cold but spraying myself making sure i smell nice i'm using the mon paris one <coughs> bye guys bye <laughs> hey guys here it is me except i woke up really freaking late i woke up at six and i'm supposed to wake up at four and i have to be out the house by seven and it's six seventeen. it's okay because sometimes i like rushing like I like to see if I can get ready in time. I have um, honors English today and it's so boring. And we switch seats in Spanish and I don't sit with my friend. And it's just all bonked up. These lashes are about to take me a whole 10 freaking minutes, bro. I don't have time. I'm using the most easiest to use products right now because I have to rush. But I've been like witnessing my friends like go through happy stuff and I just, I love it. Like, mm, I love seeing my friends do good. Oh. I didn't know how much life could life like when you're like free it's like eye-opening I think Taylor Swift is stuck in my head and I don't really know why it's been stuck in my head since I woke up and I woke up in a rush so I don't even know why a song is stuck in my head at all it's 628 and I think I'm good on time because I have to get an outfit out um do you guys want to see my outfit I'll show you my outfit combo of the day I swear I use summer Fridays literally all the time like, I have one in my school bag, and then I have, like, six in my room, <laughs> and one in my purse. I love days where I have study hall, 
because then my mom um, signs me out and I, I love it. To be honest, the only reason that she does sign me out is because I have it last block. If I didn't, I'd have to suffer through it. Okay, I'm gonna go get dressed and I'll show you my outfit. This is my outfit. Um, this is from Nev Studios. These are from PacSun. My shoes are Converse. Have a great day. I love you so much. Bye. Hey loves, get ready with me to go take my driving license photo. Okay, so now that I'm 16, my parents are applying me for a provisional driving license, which basically means I can drive with my like parents in the car, like someone who has a driving license. And that is just something that is crazy to me because me driving, that is just something I've never stopped to imagine. <laughs> and I'm also like really nervous and scared because you don't take like a driving test or anything for a provisional license. Like, you only have to prove that you can read a number plate from 20 meters away, I think. So when you're approved, you can just drive with someone in there and it's like what like what so i don't really know i really don't know how it's going to work but what i'm focused on right now is that i look good for my driving license photo i'm not sure what i'm going to do with my eyebrows i'm not sure if i'm just going to do like kind of more natural with like just eyebrow gel actually like really shape them up like that with this kind of eyebrow stuff i'm going to see how this looks and if i don't like it i will take it off does that look good i don't know i don't know if i prefer it without I kind of prefer it without. I'm gonna do the other side and see how my face looks with both of them. This is the other one. I don't know. I think I don't like it. I don't think I like it. Okay, I took it off. I really don't know. I might change my decision later when my makeup's done, but I'm not sure. I think I'm just gonna keep my eyebrows more natural for now rather than just laminate them. But anyways, I'm gonna have that little learner's badge on my car. I know that people will hate learners because they're really slow and they don't know what to do, but that's gonna be me. So if any of you guys live in England and see a learner on the road who's being stupid, please don't beep at the car because it might be me. And if it is me, then I'm gonna start crying and I can't see because I'm crying and then I'm gonna crash the car and then I'm gonna die. And then there's no get ready with me for anyone. Anymore. No, but seriously, if I do actually get beeped at or yelled at, especially by like a really scary man, I will probably start crying. <laughs> but at least I'll have like my dad in the car probably. Like, it definitely won't be my mum in the car with me because my mum told me straight up that she would not be in a car that I'm driving <laughs> for at least the next five years. I'm trying to do my makeup a little bit more stronger than I usually do because I want it to actually like show up on the picture. I just want this picture to look nice because my passport one looks like I'm dead and my bus ID one looks like I'm about to kill someone. So I've just really want this picture to turn out good <laughs> because i know i'm gonna have to show police this picture very often because i'm probably going to get pulled over very often okay but all jokes aside um i'm actually really excited because i can actually drive myself places even though it's kind of pointless because the person in the car with me would probably be my dad and if i actually did need to go somewhere quick he'd probably drive me there but it's still nice to have practice for when i actually can drive my own car on my own and it would be ideal for me to pass my driving test the first time because i do want to drive myself to college otherwise i'd have to pay for the bus every time i just think it'd be more convenient you know I need to do my college application soon. I've got to do it by the 1st of December. Okay, but I'm ready now. So I love you all so much and I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye. Get ready with me while I give some big sister advice. Also, if you hear an annoying little rat shouting, that is my little brother. My first piece of advice that would be is worrying does not change the outcome of things. No matter how much you worry, no matter how much you question things, it's not going to change. This was something that I struggled with a lot up until now and Joe was the one who actually gave me this advice and I just thought, you know what, you're right. Another piece of advice that I'd give is what's meant for you will find you. Like, I was not looking for anything. I was not looking for a relationship and neither would Joe. And we just happened, like, for our paths to cross and now look at us. Another piece of advice I'd give is try not to dwell on situations. And by that, I mean certain situations like when you fall out with friends I remember in school, I used to, if I used to fall out with friends, I used to be like, oh my god, my life is over. No, it's not. It's absolutely not. You were going to meet some great people in your life. And the friends that I have now, I'd only say one of them from school I am actually close with. The rest of them I don't even speak to anymore. And that's because they all turned out to be a bit shit. It's so sad when you start running out of your Red Bull. I try to only have one a day. Otherwise, I'll, my heart will fly out my chest. My last piece of advice would be, when someone doesn't treat you good, don't blame yourself because it's only a reflection of them so they call you this they call you that they've been nasty to you and you think what have i done wrong to deserve this you haven't done anything they clearly have some deep rooted issues so like now i'm at a point if someone does something wrong to me or someone treats me badly i'm like you know what it's a reflection of you it's not a reflection of me i've not done nothing wrong you literally just projecting your own insecurities and you want to make me feel like shit because you feel like shit so this is a finished look i do need to sort my hair out but i'm just off to go get my nails done because they're outgrown and i'm off to the cinemas well i'm gonna go for a nando's before i go to the cinemas with joe because it's date night
scrapbook i don't care what anyone says that's like the most funnest thing to do is that a word it's just so fun like hanging out with your friends and just scrapbooking it's better than doing anything else like if you guys are just bored laying around you might as well just scrapbook unless you aren't that kind of girly that like scrapbooking then never mind but my friends and i love scrapbooking it's just so much fun like i already started my second page and i can't wait to update you guys on like how it turns out also, update on the rom-com I saw with my mom. That was actually such a cute movie, like, and I actually laughed. There's parts that were so funny in it, like, <laughs> me and my mom were just cracking up. I'll definitely give the movie a 10 out of 10. Like, it was one of those movies that, like, made you, like, happy. Like, you know when you get, like, a happy feeling from a movie and, like, you're excited to, like, see what's next? And, like, I didn't know that the girl from Euphoria played in it, and when I saw that, like, I don't know why, but it kind of disturbed me a little bit. It's because I know her as being, like, you know, like, I've seen some things on Euphoria, and I'm just like, oh. I don't know, it just, like, it makes me, like, what the heck? And then her character was just so different from, like, the one in Euphoria. But it's weird, because her voice still sounded like how she sounds, if that makes sense. I thought that that was just a part of her character in Euphoria, but no, like, she actually sounds like that. Like, she talks, like, how she talks in Euphoria. Also, guys, I just cleaned my whole entire room this morning. I just did it without filming, because, you know, sometimes it's, like, therapy, just cleaning without your camera. Okay, here's the room. So this is like my scrapbook stuff that I have set out. And then everything is just like spotless. This is my bed. I changed like my Christmas pillows out. And there's Leo. I need to clean his eyes. Don't mind that. <laughs> and then my vanity. I have like a candle going. You guys, this candle right here is like the best candle that I've ever gotten in my whole life. Leslie got it for me for Christmas and it's just so good. He got it from free people and it was literally $45 and I was not about to buy that for myself. Because $45 for a candle is actually kind of crazy. Okay, I shut the blinds over there and I feel like it looks a lot better. You guys, when I'm married, I'm gonna make sure that I have like a vanity in my room because I just like cannot get ready without a vanity. Also, I just feel so much more confident getting it ready in front of one because I could see everything that I'm doing. But, like if I'm getting ready in like my bathroom, I just cannot like the my makeup turns out so bad. Does anyone know when you're supposed to wash your brushes? Because I don't know like when I should be washing mine. Like I usually just like eyeball it and like think when was the last time? And if I don't remember the last time, then I'll just wash them. Probably should be cleaning my brushes way more often. Okay, my makeup drawers are so packed, you guys. I'm do for some serious like reorganizing so guys i was thinking about dyeing my hair a little bit blonder but i don't think i'm gonna do that anymore because i'm kind of liking my hair darker and i want to get my hair healthier i'm just gonna get my hair as healthy as it can be and not put any like bleach on it and i might just turn a brunette that's okay because i'm already basically a brunette so it's fine also <laughs> guys i haven't seen wesley in like four days i think it's been like five days now and i just miss him so much he's been working um and he's been like pretty busy so i haven't been able to see him but i think i'm gonna see him either tonight tomorrow or sunday and i'm so bummed i don't even want to talk about it like i have i've been trying to like avoid it but i just do not want to go back to school like school is monday and i really just i really just don't also, I feel like I'm talking about the weirdest, randomest stuff. But I think I'm gonna go live. And like, I'm kind of nervous to go live because like, you can't mess up. Like, you're literally live. So, um, <laughs> I feel like I might be a little awkward. I'm gonna go live one day and like, just get ready with you guys. I don't know if anyone's gonna join though, but it sounds fun. I feel like the only time I'd go live, if I was like, super hyper or like, talkative, extra talkative, I would go live. But sometimes I just have nothing to say if I'm being completely honest. So I don't know. This would be the perfect time to go live because I can't stop talking. Okay, this is the makeup look. Bye, guys.